Man, I'm gonna have uh, to. It looks I don't like, appreciate you at all. That's are, are we maybe looking at round two, or are there just some weirdos? Who I'm not sure. Up who they are. This could be. I mean, the left one. Okay. I'll go well, find out. He who shall not be named. <laughs> Craig Harkins versus Graham Helmer. Okay. Okay. Which? Is, all right. Let me get my map. Craig Harkins is on the right. Good job on the first round there, Josh. Yeah, man. Uh, are we at six are, on the next? Are, round? are we we're in? Uh, are we That's in? Like, uh, no, we're at six. We're at six. What game is this? This is game one. Round two, game one. Guys, don't start yet. Uh, Graham Hilmer. Oh, okay, so this is round two. You should call him yeah, G. Yeah, it's round two. You should call him G. No, we're doing round one again, Patrick. That's right, that was right. Okay. How do you spell? Yep, just like it sounds. E-R, oh, E-R. L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, we have a shock rule. Graham starts at 10 life. I, I mean, I'll, I'll allow it. Chris had it here and no one wants to see that guy anyway. It's that Force of Squirrel playmat from Star City. Uh, it's not a not a terrible playmat. It's a terrible playmat. It's pretty bad. Are we allowed to see that? I mean, we're not sponsored by, uh, we're we're not not sponsored by SCG, so. Yeah, that's that looks like, looked like a terrible dice roll. That's a four for Craig. Craig is our resident uh, ninth place sleeper. <laughs> uh, we call it the call Craig, Craig Harkin special. special. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a ten for Graham, so Graham is probably going to be going first. Um... And we'll see what kind of decks they have. I see an island in Craig's deck. So. Oh, so Craig's clearly advantaged here. It's well, true. Well, Craig actually is a playing blue. He just I, likes I th- islands. Just I think islands. Yeah, he just puts on his deck. <laughs> I think I saw a swamp as well, so that would put Craig on soul uh, tie. Craig's deck is actually very good. I, I can't remember if he has a third color or what it is. Craig is probably just playing five he, color secret plans. He has a Torrent Elemental, which is a very powerful card. Yes, yes. Are. Um... He's got. Oh, Graham's sorry, eating it's, some it's Girl Grixis. Scout cookies. It's it's Grixis. <laughs> oh, they're sharing it's some sharing. Girl Scout How cookies. Kind? He's got um, tormenting voice, arrow storm. Uh, he has. Uh, I can't remember. Go out there and tell them that they can't have the food on the table. We wouldn't want a tragic slip. I, that's for drinks. A Gideon champion of justice. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> An angel of sagi. We need to. We need to teach our magic players hey, this here looks to like their decks. This looks like a Mardu deck from Graham. So How many Mardu decks And it were obviously there? wasn't Graham has good. a tendency to draft Mardu from what I've seen. Uh, he likes drafting more aggressive to, decks. To be fair... We have no idea what Craig is, right? We just Craig, Craig is Grixis. Yeah. He should be Grixis. He's Grixis. I appreciate he's Grixis. To That's out of the box. Yeah, it is. It's not necessarily bad, depending on what your deck looks like. Um, um, I will say... I don't know. He was in a really weird position, because I know he was... Uh, right next to a Mardu drafter, I think he was next to Josh, and then he was also right by, uh, I want to say he was pretty close to Jim, who was drafting a very powerful, uh, oh my gosh, I think it was a rug deck. I know he had Shaman of the Great Hunt. You know what? That's what they call it now. I still call it rug. It's rug, like... Oh, I mean... That's fair. <laughs> I'd like to go back to, like, Raka. Uh, that looks like a Dega. lot of lands. Uh, I don't know what this Jess guy crap is, yeah. but Murka. <laughs> Merk. Merk that, that might actually be a six land hand from Graham. That he uh, kept? I yeah. believe it. It's ballsy. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays off. I'll tell you what. Uh, he's got his tormenting voice, so he'll, he'll probably, probably discard, discard a land. A land. Yep. A planes. That seems like a good choice. And he'll draw two cards. Uh, I don't know what the two cards were, but... Looks at, I like how at least one of them camera is on Zach's face and not at all on Pat's well, face. I see. I'm just and the camera's just. I see a plane in Craig's hand. So was that what it is? Maybe you guys said swamp. I couldn't remember the last color. I just knew red and blue. Bye bye, Patrick. Thanks for your help. Bye. Want me to tell more stories about your job? We're fine. We're live on bye. the internet. <laughs> oh, there's a morph. Oh. So you think they'd like to hear more about you, Patrick? Um, maybe. All right. Have a nice evening. Who's that? I don't know someone. Oh. Alright. What is that? Um, that's the skill guard? No, yeah, that, that guy's guard? A, that's the that bolster X guy? Yeah, yeah that's the bolster that X guy. Insane. That guy's amazing. Three people talking about but he's probably yeah. a lot less good when he's by himself. Oh, Adam's in here, so we're going to turn this face cam off. Well, now. he does bolster himself. How does it turn out? He does bolster himself when he attacks, yeah, so that's so. pretty solid. Yeah. Well, you have to wait a turn, but the Craig, problem here Craig is has a just guy charm in his hand. Yeah, I was gonna say he's super oh, okay. susceptible to removal in this position. Um, I f- I almost want in Craig's position to just say pass the turn. Oh, he's flipping it. What is that? I don't know how much of a head you get. 
Oh, uh, that's the that's there. the unblockable guy, isn't it? Mass of the, the three hidden two. way. Yeah, that's the mystic of the hidden way. That's mystic the three of two. The hidden way. Cannot be blocked. Uh, I, think, uh, I think if I were him, I probably would have swung first to try to initiate a block, because that's a very favorable trade in his in his part. Oh yeah, definitely. To to trade with the uh, the dragon. And there's not many things that you can flip up for three dangerous. mana that. Well, to today. be fair, he can always uh, put it rush a battle. Rush a battle. That yeah, is a real solid. I'm pretty no, sure. No, that's that's fine though, because that's that's just for a little bit of damage. He's gonna deal for it, yeah, and then four. he gets four. He gets for, the for a card, yeah, he gets the bolster one. But well, if he gets put back on top of his deck, doesn't is, is the scale guard a warrior or yes. is he? He's a warrior. Okay, he's he a warrior. He wouldn't play it if it wasn't. Yeah, it's just uh, that's a very I've, unless that's he a very aggressive position. I think that's kind of a huge play unless he just doesn't have anything else to do. Well, keep in mind we've we've established that Graham probably had at least five lands in his right. opening hand, which is why I'm saying like I guess I can kind of understand. But even then, I'd probably still wait. Um, the fact that he played it on four by itself, I think is, that that tells Craig a lot. I'm not, not sure, sure what that card about is. this. Craig is at sixteen and Graham's at nineteen. Oh, we haven't been doing one. Oh, you haven't. Okay. Yeah, we should have been. So yeah. good call. I was trying to catch Craig throwing it down. And of course, Elemental. Did you guys see that yet? We know he has a tornado. Oh, he's listening. Listening. I was like, where's that? <laughs> okay. Whew. We should okay. be able to do an overlay with okay, so just play in that. the future. Yeah, they need to work on whatever skin. Um, they do. We can do it. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, we've got it up there. Oh, I didn't even notice it was... Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just not That's very probably big. fine, honestly. Yeah. As long as we keep up with it. That, that seems fine. That's the problem. Well, he's got a removal for the torn elemental. That looks like a murderous cut. Um, I know for a fact that uh, Craig has some Delph cards, though. That's fine. Yeah, well, he's only got one card in his graveyard. Yeah, but he's got five mana. I, I feel like next turn he's probably just guy charming this, this scale guard on top of Graham's hand. Uh, how many cards in Graham's hand do we know? Uh, three. three. And at least one of them's a land. Two. I can't tell what that last card is. I think they're all lands. They might no, all be No, I think lands. that's a Sandblast, isn't it? I mean, we're going to find I'm out. Sure we'll find yep, out. Yeah, that's a Sandblast. All right, so now he's Sandblast two. Well, million. he's... Yep. So this actually, just just got time the scale gun, yeah. This actually seems pretty favorable for Craig here. Um, oh, yeah, with a seeker right. backup, that's pretty good. But he doesn't have just got time up anymore. You know, that, he has the one white. That's all right. He's not that low on life. So far. Yeah, but Graham. I don't know if gas, he's. But I think he's making a yeah, little but, mistake. Yeah, but Craig doesn't know that. Rampant. Yeah, I would have charmed that a lot earlier. So what is that now? Another I believe four? it's a four or five. So I think he's taking he's, three. He's getting a little greedy, hoping to get a seeker activation out of it. I think a prowess trigger. That's that is. Is true. that the uh, plus two plus two enchantment for vigilance? It might be. For three. See, I honestly. He's only got one white sword. Yeah, so it, no, it would be fine if he had a second white sword. I see just a skull in too, but he's only got five mana. I think he just needs to charm it back on top and reset. Yeah, that's I, exactly what he needs to do. Swing for three. That's solid. It takes Graham to 16. Nah, Craig goes to 15. Uh, yeah, he's going to swing. I think it's attacking or blocking creature. On top. I could be wrong. Uh, no, no, it's, it's, no, it's just attacking. It's anything. Okay. It's anything. So Graham's going to take two there. Um, so Graham takes... Hey, we got to update my totals. Yeah. Graham took two. Um, Surprise me, no problem trigger there. Yeah, I'm not sure what else is in Craig's hand. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is this before... This, is, this has to be before damage, right? Yeah. I would assume, because why else would you? You wouldn't let it do damage. I, I don't think I've seen him update life totals yet. So he's going to collateral it. Uh, I don't even... I'm not sure that that's a good idea. Yeah, that's, that's I feel actually like, really favorable. I feel like if you do that, you have to kill the Seeker. Yeah, that's that's really, really, really bad. Um, on so Craig is down to nine. Well, no, because Craig would have gained three from the Seeker. Yeah. Because he got so a prowess activation, so he it, just it cast is at twelve. No, but he he didn't get a prowess activation because he, no, he still cast a spell. It. He still cast a spell. Yeah, but it, it was before he cast it after damage. No, so, he, so he cast it on Graham's turn when Graham. Oh, you're attacked. right because he untapped. So he, yeah, he's right. down to nine. Well, he's going to gain a bunch of life now. Um, because he's going to get the prowess trigger and plus whatever that enchantment is. Yeah, we should have the life totals of Craig's at nine. Well, he was at nine, but now he's g he just gained a bunch of life with that enchantment. I don't know oh, how he much played, he gained. So he did have the enchantment. Yeah. Okay. What is that, five? That's an unyielding Kumar. That, that he gained? Uh, that'd be I'll five, go. yeah. So he yeah, would be at 14, theoretically. 
Yeah, and yeah, he's so just saved to that. So life totals are irrelevant now. That's true. Yeah, that was that was a very strange play to collateral damage. I feel like if you do that, I feel like you have to kill uh, Craig's creature that's on the board. Because if you just leave it there, it gains life. You can't so I, leave it I double checked life totals and uh, Dang, Graham died. <laughs> We've noticed. Yep. They're going to game two. You're welcome, stream. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I, I, just, I just think that was a big misplay. But then again, like his hand was bad. Um, I, I understand looking at a hand like that and being like, I don't really want to go to five because it's really rough. But you don't really have, have a choice because your odds of drawing out of it are pretty slim. Well, so you gotta you got to ask yourself, am I going to... Because you, you have... I think he had at least five lands in his opening hand. Your average draft, draft deck plays 17 lands. Right, but... I think in this format, it's probably 18, actually. Mm, uh, not, if, not if you're an aggressive deck like that. Yeah. True. I always draft 17 almost regardless. I though. do as well. Especially with the banners. If you have to run a banner, you can. Um, that's I just despise banners. Team. I don't. I don't like them. I've done it a few times, and it's been good. But it's only when I draft very greedy decks, like <laughs> like four color C draw. Uh, no it looks like banner. Craig <laughs> has a card to put in. I wonder if it's the um, the cleric, the two mana one three that yeah, gains the, three life. Yeah. That, that would be pretty that good against pretty Craig's good. deck. He's not very good in general because if you're playing against like a big Asban deck, he like, just doesn't really do anything. But against Graham's deck that's really aggressive, um, it obviously could be very, very good. So I, I'm not sure what exactly he just put in. Do we still um, have that image from, from the, uh, whatever GP it was with Craig on a playmat? Because uh, I'd like to show There might that be off. one. I'd there like might to be show one, that yeah. Um, there might be one of those playmats in the shop. As, mm, you should ask Chris. <laughs> yeah, Chris would have one, I'm sure. We used to have one. He who showed oh, hey, look, the, uh, fireworks. Why do we have fireworks in here? Uh, why don't we have fireworks in here? We do have fireworks in here. I told you. <laughs> Look at all these sweet cards. Look at, at this Emissary of Despair. When Emissary of Despair deals combat damage to a player, that player loses one life for each artifact he or she controls. That seems terrible. It, it's from Mirrodin, so it makes a lot more sense I guess. In, in context. But this, this is not good. Uh, why is there a Wii sensor, too? Uh, why isn't there a Wii sensor? Is the real question. Uh, Alright, so... A Wii sensor. It looks like we're looking at opening hands. Graham's got... Uh, probably three lands, maybe four. I don't know if he has a mountain, though. Which could potentially be a problem. It looks like they both kept. Uh, Craig has a Seeker, which is obviously very good for him. And it looks like he has a turn one play as well. Ooh, he has a Monster Swiss Spear. It's actually a very aggressive hand. So Graham might just die. Well, he's going to gain a life. Do we know how good that is in Craig's deck? I'm assuming um, it's pretty good. Well, we know he's got a good amount of removal, like just guy charm and uh, and such. It doesn't look like he has a white so source. So he's not playing turn two seeker. So he's going to do another damage. So Graham's down to 19. Uh, 18. He gained a life. He's got his... Oh, does he? Okay. He didn't play anything, so interesting. Oh, is that Avon Skirmish? Yeah, that's that he's so fond of. Uh, that blocks Swift Spear real well. Not, 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 not at so all. much. No. Well, Nor does it race. It does not. <laughs> it does fly, though. Well, I mean, it sort of races. It would race if it came down first, but it didn't. So. Well, you also... And also, if he never plays any... Sensor, right? Yeah, if he never gets any power triggers, it races. He's swinging in. He's going to put him to 18. Is that the dragon scale in uh, Graham's hand again? Uh, yeah, and it looks like he's gonna. That actually play seems it? real strong with the Avon Skirmisher. Nope, he's gonna kill his Swift Spear. With a card. What does that do? Oh, it just gives it minus one, minus one, and then he's gonna block it. Or... Oh, it bolsters, I guess. I guess, yeah. Looks like there was a bolster thing there. So, Craig's gonna take eight, uh, two. Oops. I forget the name of that uh, Yeah, it looks like Craig is a bit low on white lands. Well, well lands in general, general and white mana, especially, because he's got the Seeker in his hand, but he can't play it. Um, it looks like he kept an aggressive hand that maybe needed a little bit of mana to get there. That's a bad sign for Craig that he's moving his Swiss Spear over there. It means he probably won't be attacking with it anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got this Monastery Flock. 
but that just blocks. And that skirmish is just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. Because of the, the dragon scale. Mm -hmm. Captain. I believe that's that card's name. Yeah, he's. it looks like he's got... Um, is that a whisk away in his hand? Uh, it might be. Well, there's a morph. Um, looks sure, like, if he had a whisk away, he'd I use can't remember what that card's called now. It counter target spell four mana or greater. Disdainful stroke. Yeah, it looks like he has one in his hand, but he was tapped out that time that he played the dragon scale. So he had the answer, but he can't use it now. Yeah, of course, if he can whisk away, then he can counter on the way back down. Um... There's a rusher battle for Graham. Yeah, so that's, that's gonna be a that's real gonna good. gonna gain a lot of life. Well, it's not that much life. The skim is the skirmisher a warrior? It's not a warrior. It's a bird. So, but it does make the bird it a five power guy. It might be a bird warrior. Those exist, but I don't know if I think the skirmisher. I don't recall Where is wielding Vanessa? any weapons. There he is. Ask Vanessa. 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 Oh, I'm just, pretty sure it's just a bird. He just took a ton of damage. I don't. Yeah, he took. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So if he took nine, Craig's at nine. That's a that's a big swing, especially if he gained life off all. Oh, it is that. a bird warrior. Okay, so he gained nine too. So Graham's at twenty-seven, um, and Craig is still stuck on white mana. It's very interesting uh, that he swung in with that morph. He still has the Swift Spear. Oh, he's got another Skirmisher. At this point, I don't know that that's actually a good thing, though, because now that Skirmisher... I mean, obviously... Well, now that one starts getting bigger, yeah, so it, if, it puts all his eggs if, in uh, not one basket anymore. It's yeah. true, unless... Because uh, we know Craig has the Whisk Away, right? So. What is that? Swift Kick? Uh, yeah. I, I reference so. that card a lot because I have no idea why. I think it's a terrible card. But it looks like it's doing something here. Okay, so they're fighting. Yeah, it's like plus one, plus oh, and then he fights. Okay, so it does kill it. They're trying to figure out if it kills it. I think it does. Isn't the Swiss, uh, the Monastery Flock a... Uh, a zero five. A zero five. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's a four or five right now. So if it does get plus one, plus oh... Oh, he's, he's stroking it. All right, so... Yeah. Obviously. So he's not dead yet. Block the 3 3 skirmisher. Is it gonna take 4? I don't know. Oh, well. No, why wouldn't you block the 4 5? That's very strange. Oh, what was it? 5 5? I don't know. No, because he countered it, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's strange. So he took 4. Um, now he's at 5. It's actually still really bad because now he so needs a lot of outs. Craig, so he he finally he found a way to dig for his white mana but he still he's too far needs behind. a white mana and then he needs to be able to gain life too yeah so he's he just got a bunch of uh yeah i i would almost just scoop here i mean i guess he can buy a turn but he, i don't think he has he's a way got the, the whisk away he can yeah he only the monster swister can chump the dragon scale the flock can block the smaller skirmisher, and the whisk away can take care of the bigger one. Yeah. So he's got a couple of draw steps here. I don't know what Graham's doing. It looks like he's thinking yeah. about uh, that's right. sending a text message or two. <laughs> Graham actually did take two damage from the the morph. morph. Yeah. yeah. So he's at twenty five. But it's I just I don't know if you can come back from this worst state. Even if you have the answer for one of the creatures, he's got a bunch of big creatures now. This this scale guard has been allowed to 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 kind of run rampant. Like just be there for yeah. four or five turns, and he's he's made all of his creatures big. He's done his job. Even if he dies right now, um, Craig only has one way to block flyers, unless this this morph creature is a flyer. Um, it could be another monastery flock. It's true, but I don't think he. Can he unmorph that? It's only blue to unmorph. Okay, so yeah. So he could unmorph it. Um, if it is, in fact, a monastery flock. He could, uh... He could block the, the guys on the ground, but then he still needs a way to deal with this 
Dragon's Kill General. Because eventually, what is he doing? Maybe he had a sleeve split or something? I guess, yeah. I think Craig's trying to figure out if he has any way out of it, and honestly, I. What is I that that card that is. Craig has pulled to the forefront of his hand there? Uh, that's uh, Will of the Naga. Um, so that actually will buy him a couple turns. It, it's uh, it's a Delve card. I think it's six mana. It is. So he can yeah. he can just cast it. It taps two creatures, and they don't untap during their next untap step. Oh, that's pretty good. So that will buy him some time. Um. But his creature is going to keep getting bigger, even if he uh, he uh, he will the nagism down. So yeah, he's gonna before he's probably gonna tap the scale guard and one of the avens. I would actually probably or maybe both I would avens, have the avens and leaves the and then chump the scale guard. With yeah, the, with the swift spear. Yeah. at this point, yeah, that looks like what he's doing. So they don't untap. So he does have a little bit of time, but I feel like. Uh, his uh, his next two draws have to be like land, white mana, seeker, and then follow up with like a bunch of spells to trigger spells prowess. Spells to trigger prowess, yeah. And even then, he still loses that race because these creatures are enormous at this point. They're rather large. And they're going to keep go. getting bigger even though they're tapped down. So. Oh, does he draw the white mana? Uh, is it a free one? Yeah, it is. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Josh but I, that might be the uh, the land, but it comes into play tapped. So. Yeah, oh, it's a Mystic Monastery. Yeah, right, I think so that's right. going to go to game three. So, yeah, he's just scooping it. Those creatures are too big at this point. Josh Humphrey's one is uh, second round. Okay, but it, it was a Secret of the Way. Or not Secret of the Way, excuse me. The, um, the Unblockable the one. Mystic of the Mystic Way. Of the Hidden Mystic way. of the Hidden yeah. Way. Yeah. So, um, that wouldn't have really helped him. No. He, he can swing in, but he's, he's not going to race at that point because Graham had just gained so much life and his creatures were so much bigger. What was he getting life with? Uh, he rush battled while he had uh. a Scale Guard and the Avon. So he gained like nine life in one turn. And it, it was just too much. He couldn't race that. But the real issue was that Craig just never drew a white mana. I, obviously, he had the turn one play, and it looked well, like he Well, he let the dragon a, scale captain just survive. Sit there. Yeah. 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 He didn't have a way to deal with it, so. I thought he had a whisk away in his hand at some point, but I, I should have been wrong about that. Well, it looks like he's going to change a couple things out now. Um... He has that disdainful stroke, which can deal with it, but uh, he tapped out to play that morph that really didn't do anything for him that whole game. Yeah. And it left him vulnerable, and then that's when Graham yeah, stuck it. It seems like you want to you wanna hold up your disdainful stroke yeah. on that turn four. Like. I guess at that point he was just so far behind that he felt like he needed to put creatures on the board to maybe do something, but... Well, what did, what did Josh even have out before? I didn't Cassidy? really he have anything, an but the, right? the issue was... I. Th I don't remember if he missed a land drop, but he was definitely missing his white mana, so he definitely. knew he was cut off. And I don't know if he had. He just didn't feel like he had the time of, to yeah. sit around and hold up a counter spell. That's understandable. But if he if he had, he might have had a chance because he. It looks like Graham only played the one once, and that would have uh, would have taken a while. Yeah, definitely. to kill him, even with a rush of battle to kind of speed things up a little bit. Um, just kind of unfortunate. I, I, I guess the, the real issue is that he just never drew the white source. Um, and even in that secret of the way, probably wouldn't have done a, a terribly, um, a terrible one. It might have if he had been really early, because he had a he had like a pressure point. He had a he had a couple other white cards. In if he could have like turn two the seeker after the turn yeah yeah if, if he hadn't like stumbled as hard as he did and like curved into it, then I think it would have been. Maybe Much he would have had a game. chance, yeah. but... Uh, well, there's a blue and a red, and a Tormenting Voice. So... It looks like he doesn't have the white source again, but he does have a way to potentially dig out of it. Um, so... It looks like he's going to keep, and Graham's going to keep as well, so... 
Uh, looks like we're going to see a turn one dual land from Graham, unless he's... No, he's got a creature here. Oh, the skirmisher again. Zach Tufford's Invitational. Oh. There's a uh, Leaping Master. Leaping Master. But he doesn't have any way to make him leap, is the real issue. So it's more like a leaping student. Yeah. Well, he's not leaping. <laughs> he's, he's just a master. That was, a, that no was an leap. LSV inspired yeah. pun. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that one. There's no leap to his master. And this is an issue. <laughs> he's, uh, looks like um, they both have tormenting voices to maybe smooth out their draws. Um, I feel like the tormenting voice... Uh, benefits Craig a little bit more because he's got that Will of the Naga in his hand. Uh, he's going to swing in. This one fills up his graveyard a little bit. Um, so we, we know that Graham's not interested in, in trying to jump block. He doesn't have any tricks that he's willing to, to spend. Uh, obviously he was tapped out anyway. Um, so the real question is uh, that's a Vault Breaker. That's not bad. That's a 6 damage. And he's going to get to loot um, Graham's gonna take it because what does the Vault Breaker do So when Vault Breaker does damage, um, you discard a card and then draw a card. Okay. That I seems don't know if I would have discarded the Tormenting Voice because he still doesn't have white mana. Yeah. Um, but now Graham knows he has to play a little, uh, a little more um, conservative Concern. because That's he knows that Craig can dash that four two in. And uh, that's actually a, a, a lot of card filtering that Craig can use. And maybe that's why he chose to discard the Tormenting Voice, because yeah, he just gets Yeah, well, Graham's going to swing in, so... But you're not really oops, wanting to block just yet, I think. And that, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's a it's lot of so damage per turn that he's... He didn't have a follow-up, so I wonder if he has a removal spell? That has to be it, right? Like, you don't... I mean, Is there anything that... You know, there's got to be some kind of removal spell. I mean, we're about to find out. Graham's going to read it. Craig's got the will of the Naga, which isn't very helpful for him right now, because Scram's only got one creature. But it's potentially... Yep, so what is that? A Sandblast? Sandblast, yep. I believe. So he's going to kill the Vault Breaker, but he's still going to take two damage. Did he do it after attack? Well, you have to. Yeah. He's attacking, so... Craig still gets a loot here. Yeah. So I think he, that's what he's doing. He's trying to decide what he wants to discard. I think it's a big mistake to discard that Will of the Naga, but I don't know what else he has in his hand. I don't think he can afford to discard the Mountain. So you can't really sit on the Will of the Naga at this point either, because Graham's not applying any pressure. He's just going to not discard anything. Yeah, okay. So he's going to... And now here's the issue, he doesn't have any way to dig for his white source, because yeah. he discarded the Tormenting Voice. Um, obviously, he's got a couple draws. I don't know if he has any creatures in his hand. He, uh, what is that? Is that the Stroke? No, I can't. I don't think so. It might be. Well, Graham's not attacking with his his skirmisher, so I wonder if that means he's got a rush of battle that he's planning to use to... We well, still attack there, right? No, rush, rush of battle, battle doesn't sorcery. untap. Oh, is it a sorcery? A sorcery. Okay. So, mm, I believe. What would he have that he wouldn't... It has to be a combat trick. I guess he could have a feat of resistance? Yeah. Yeah, Craig still hasn't drawn his white source. And so he's gonna block... Oh, that's right. Leaving Master is only a 2 1. So he's just trying he's to. Is that a Is that his Torrent Elemental? Uh, uh, I can't tell what that is. I'm not sure. Okay. That might be a River Real Acro. Aerialist. Aerialist, yeah. yeah. There's a Whirlwind at it. Okay. Is that uh, the 4 2? Uh, I believe so. Oh, well, yeah. Craig drew his white source. I don't know if he has any white cards in his hand. Oh, he's got something. Oh, he's got a morph. He's going to get in there yeah, for 4-2 four. Four. Expert Prowess. He's going to Deflecting Palm it. What's but he, he can't, because it's Hexproof. Does Deflecting Palm say choose or target? 
I, it, I think it's this target. And it looks like Vanessa is telling him, no, in fact, you cannot do that. Vanessa is the ruling officiator for deflecting palms and other such bad I magic plays. I guess he prevented. He's going to cut. Okay. Well, the palm just fizzles. Yeah. Or I guess he can... I mean, it's in his graveyard. Graham's got a lot of mana. So looks like he's yeah, going to use all great. of it. What is he playing? What is? Oh, that's the ogre. I don't know that that's actually. I mean, it's he can block. It's hard for him to deal with this four-two hexproof prowess guy. Uh, that is a four-six or four-seven. It's huge, but he can nog it down if he has to. Craig can wait a little bit because he's ahead. That's not what he wanted to draw though, an island. He's got plenty of mana at this point. If he want if he wanted another land, I'd I'd say he wants another light source. Yeah. yeah. What else does Craig have besides Will Uh it might be the a stroke. Okay. But he does not have the mana to cast as So now he's gonna get in for five. She's going to put Graham to 7. If Graham doesn't have a removal spell, which will be really hard to, or a creature really, to block, um, Craig's going to get in and put him to 3. Well, now that's the disdainful stroke, I think. No, why did Graham attack here? Because he, he didn't oh, he attack, he got welled. Okay. Yeah. So now Graham's at 3. So if Craig has a way to bounce... Or he's got another creature. That's, uh, what is that? Is that the 4-4 four four that you can make? You can give plus one, minus one? I the spatial I have no idea. I haven't played nearly enough of this format to even remotely pretend like I know what I'm what? talking about. That's a red mana. Is that a goblin slide? Yeah, so that's the pump. So he's he's representing lethal. Yep, and Craig will take the game. So that's the disable stroke. Oh, it's the Yeti. It's the Hungering Yeti. It's okay. the red card he drew. So Graham was in trouble. He didn't really have anything else to block with. Craig being a nice guy, putting uh, Graham's deck back together there for him. See if I go uh, grab Mr. Harkins and bring him in here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it sounds like they might be splitting finals, which means we're probably going to end up taking a break after this interview um, and waiting for that next draft to finish drafting and move into the uh, the tournament bracket. So um, we're going to see. It looks like we're trying to get Craig to be our uh, 
our interview. It looks like we're explaining that now. Let's uh, switch to the shop cam. Yeah, it's looking like Vanessa won't uh, shut his mouth long enough for Craig to come in here. For the second draft off anyway. It sounded like they were going to split the finals. They were going to, yeah. Okay. This is our lovely shop, you can see. Some people playing that runner, I believe. Yep. And there's Graham. Graham, right in front of the camera. Found the best card in the box over here. We got a Mesa Pegasus. It has banding, banding and, fly. and flying. This card is pretty insane. It's a it's a good combination right there. It looks like uh, yeah, some pretty exciting things going on. Let's see if Vanessa stopped talking yet. Nope. No, nope. Vanessa cannot cannot stop. The funny thing is, they could be having this discussion here. They could be. They yeah, could be. But they they could be. They chose to do it off camera. I know. Well, they're they're sort of on camera, but off microphone. <laughs> um, so we can't hear any of the things that they just said. All right. So it looks like for a little bit we're going to be taking a break and coming back once this next draft finishes their drafting portion. Um, that'll probably be I really 20 try, to 30 minutes. I want to try and see if we can follow someone as they draft through. I don't know if that would um, be a thing that we can do. We'd have to see what kind of cameras we have. Yeah, how to set up Are the Are you camera. guys wanting to interview Craig? I, I mean, we were, but... Then but it looks like you already interviewed him. No, I, already, I just told him why he was bad. You guys kind of... <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, so Craig, we'll bring up bring this that face cam. cam. Oh, God. No, I don't want to be interviewed. I mean, it's too late now. You're right there. Okay. It's, it's Plus, the world has seen your play, Matt. So. It looks yeah, like the you... world has seen how bad did I play. <laughs> well, it looks like you broke the curse of the Craig Harkin special. You didn't come in ninth. I didn't time. come in ninth, which is good. Like, which is good because that would be kind of embarrassing. Players, so yeah. it would be kind of tough. Um, yeah. It looked like uh, that game two was just kind of rough. You kept uh, an aggressive opening hand and then just never found your way. I, I kept the sucky hand with one land, but I was just trusting my deck to get there. And yeah, it, and it, it, it didn't. Just but, didn't. But also, he had that um, the scale guard. The the card. Yeah, I mean the scale guard was doing work, and then he had the, you know, had a uh, eighteen point swing. Yeah, the rush of um, battle. The the that just pretty much did it. I mean, it was an there's inevitability from there. Yeah. Did you have a whisk away in your hand at any point during that second game? Because I thought I saw one. But I, I didn't did quite not. Tell. Okay. I did not. I've got uh, my removal is a reality shift and a will of will of Naga to okay. tap this guy's And you you can uh, you can put things on top with your Jeskai charm as well. Yeah. So that was an option that first game. Well, that which is won what me. You did. That won me game one. Yeah. Uh, and then game two, it looked like you were just pretty much always in in control the whole time. Uh, it looked like Graham just never really uh, brought it out. Although at game two, that when you tapped out, it looked like you had a disdainful stroke in your hand when you tapped out for your morph, and then he followed up with the scale guard. We're, yeah. we're kind of considering because it didn't really look like Graham had much else besides the scale guard going for him. That maybe you would have had the ability to draw out of it if you had had been yeah, able to counter yeah, that. Yeah, if I hadn't tapped out, I could have countered the scale guard and then maybe been able to, to yeah, stabilize from I, It didn't look like you were going to race him, but it didn't look like he was doing much either, so you could have let it go another four or five turns, and maybe one of you would have drawn uh, out of it, and hopefully it would have been you. But. Yeah, I mean, with um, I picked one to tor Torn Elemental, so the plan from there was build something that could get me a board state where I could start tapping his guys down. Mm -hmm. um, none of our games really got to that. They all were yeah. ending ending a few turns before a Torn Torn Alamilla would have really gone in there and done work. But right. um but I mean that's kind of how I drafted my deck. I drafted my deck a little bit around that. And it sounded it sounded like you guys are gonna split the finals, so you've, Yeah. You've made your money back. Um are yeah. you and it sounded like you're gonna draft the next draft. Yeah, so maybe we're gonna head into the next draft. So maybe we'll see, see you again. Okay. Maybe right. we'll follow you during your drafting process. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so that's all that we have of draft one. Like I said, there's going to be a bit of a break. Um, we're going to take a look and see if maybe we can follow someone as they draft. If not, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a break. There's definitely going to be a break right now while we 